Aren't you looking all cosy and wintry? I mean, autumnal. As am I. It's quite cold today. You, however. Oh, well, I haven't been outside yet, so I'm still dressed for indoor climate. Speaking of outside, taking the dog for a walk uh, while learning. No, no, no. Oh, no. That was nice while it lasted. You know your head's going to be cold, right? I went and grabbed this coffee and I took the dog for a walk and then realised that it was almost library time, so... Mine is still entirely full. I get to drink that cold when I get home. Um... Bye! <laughs> Didn't see that coming, did you? I didn't. Bye. Now you're coming with me. Um, goodbye, I'll see you in a little bit. I love you. You'd be good to your mama. Oh my god, remember when she hated those headphones? I do remember when she hated those headphones. Do you want to try them on? You don't like daddy's music? It's great music. It's a solid, uh, it's a solid no for my taste in music. Mwah. Luna's much more of like a, an Ed Sheeran, Taylor Swift type. Love you. I'm going to do that again when I'm not making eye contact with the camera. Bye. 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 Have fun at work. <laughs> Bye. See ya. Oh, I do have a spare hand. Bye. Bye. Love you. You may remember a week and a bit ago, I got a grocery order and our aim was to make that grocery order last two weeks. It is now Thursday, they came last Monday. So we're almost there. We've had a couple of meals out and we've been eating stuff out of the freezer and pre-prepared stuff, but you should see our fridge. It's empty. We did have to buy milk. Also see the herbs? I can confirm that's an excellent way to keep your herbs in glasses of water with a plastic bag over the top and they are still super, super fresh. Fruit bowl's still got a few things in it, including an umbrella and a hat. And I had a look before, we spent $150 on those, on those groceries that we thought could last two weeks. I reckon if we spent $200, we could last two weeks. That's next week's challenge. Is that fun? Daddy's Pringle lid? mentioned this on here yet but at the beginning of the month I ordered an Ipsy Glam Bag, Birchbox and Sephora Play. Three subscription services that cost $10 and you get like a little bag or box or whatever with five samples like five beauty makeup samples. I've wanted one of these for ages and now I live in America I can get them. So I've ordered them and I wanted to make a video for my other channel which has been grossly neglected. Two videos on there um, we said we're doing one every week and we haven't done any in a month. So this was one that I really wanted to do. I was super excited. I wanted one for so long and I just thought it was Birchbox. Maybe I knew about Ipsy, I can't remember. But the fact that Sephora has one too, I was like, I need to compare them all. I want to know which one I think is best and which one do I keep getting. Or do I just keep getting all three? I thought maybe I'd have some time this weekend. I, Nath could take Luna out and I could film. And I was like, ah, oh, that sucks. That cuts into hanging out time. So Luna's gonna go down for a nap, and as we all know, she hasn't napped for the longest time. So I've got 40 minutes to an hour-ish, more if I'm lucky, in which to film this video. So I've set it up, camera, strategically placed plants to make it look a bit better, but the rest of the room's a mess. So I have to tidy that before Luna gets real grumpy and needs to sleep. So time is of the essence. All right, Luna's just gone down for a nap. The other reason why I wanted to film today, I know I'm wearing a beanie, but I thought my makeup looked really good and I was like, today's a good day to film. All right guys, let's do this. All right, 
that's the video done. I have no idea how long that took and how long the baby is till she wakes up. Can't even, I can't even tell you which one I think was my favorite because you have to go over and watch the other video whenever I get around to editing that. So I'll see you there in a week. No, I'd like to get it there sooner. If you want a quick BTS, one of them had a sample of a Chanel perfume which I sprayed, which it smells good, but I still smell it. It's too much, it's too strong, it's all over my jeans. I think it spilled a little bit. It's really stinky in here. So these are the three BTS. So that's Sephora, Birchbox, Pepsi. That's all you get. So head on over once it's there to my other channel, Sophia Eleni. So I'll link it below and you can go. Right now there's two videos over there. One on how to get your hair kind of looking like this the last time I did it. And another one on how to wash your sneakers. We have a bit of a problem. There's a really, really strong gas smell in our hallway. Like I went out just to check the mail and it's like really bad. I just contacted my landlord to see there's a few people in the building that have keys to the basement where the gas meters are, but I think I'm just gonna go check and see if anyone is home and just see if it's like maybe me that's smelling it because it's, it's really bad. He said if it's really terrible, I have to call 911. So I'm just gonna go make sure it's not just my nose and that someone else is about as well. Okay, so I just went upstairs and no one else is home. So my landlord said that they're sending someone and when I got back downstairs, like I definitely did smell of gas. I'm not really sure what to do. So I guess it seems like a good time to take the baby and the dog for a walk. I don't know. <coughs> really concerning. It's pretty terrible. You do hear of the odd place that has a little explosion. <coughs> but it's also nice to know the landlord takes it very seriously. You never can be too sure when it comes to gas. So I'm currently standing outside our building-ish down the road. And uh, I had gone for a walk and then my, my landlord called and was like, you gotta get back because someone's gonna come. I'm sending a plumber. So I've come back, but I'm not going back in yet. But it's really cold and it's raining a bit out here. So we're under a tree right now. Luna lost a sock on the way. We're eating some snacks. Hey, push. Sit. Oh boy. Oh man, that was really stressful. So a guy came over, he was my landlord's mum's ex-partner. The mum used to own the building, but now the son takes up everything. And so this guy, cause he was a family friend or whatever, he came over and he walked and he goes, smells like beans, beans. And I was like, I hear what you're saying. It might smell like beans now, but it definitely smelled like gas. He's like, well gas has got a pretty gassy smell. I'm like, yeah, I know what gas smells like. It made my heart sink. It made me s sweat. It made my palms sweat. I know what gas smells like. He's like, what can I tell you? Your building smells like beans. And then he left and, <coughs> and by then our landlord turned up. We came in and I'm like, I agree. It definitely smells like beans in here, but I was like, that was not beans that I was smelling before. And he went to the basement, the basement, I agree, it smelled like basement, it didn't smell like gas. So two scenarios. And there's one that I think is right. The first scenario, I was wrong. I got gas confused with beans, which I didn't. The second scenario is that at the time that it happened, my hallway stank, a like there was no way anyone could confuse that. It definitely smelled like gas. Shortly after I called my landlord, our neighbor turned up and I was like, hey, do you smell gas? And he's like, no, I don't smell gas. And they clearly went inside his apartment and started cooking beans. What I believed happened is the leak that his stove was on and the gas was coming from his apartment. And in the time that I left and the landlord arrived, he had aired it out, started cooking his dinner. No more gas smell. It was unmistakable. It was so strong in the hallway. There is, it's, it had to be his apartment. Why would you not then just own up to it? Because you left your stove on. So you see all of those barriers set up, it's because tomorrow at V-Files, which is on our street, one of the Kardashians is having some sort of an event. Maybe Chloe, I think she has like a, a jeans label and she's launching something here at V-Files tomorrow. So getting into work, I can imagine tomorrow it might be a little bit crazy, like super crazy. There's always people lined up on our street, but I think tomorrow might be next level.